If you find yourself learning Spanish as well as interested in the news, you've come to the right place. Today we are showcasing four different news sources for Spanish learners. All of these sources are native, authentic materials. They are made by native speakers for native speakers. But don't be intimidated. With a little time and patience, you'll be able to follow news in Spanish easily. Let's get started. The first news source we will look at today is El País. This means the country, but El País stretches far beyond just one country. El País is a major metropolitan daily paper based in Madrid, Spain. The site offers five portals. Spain, America, which includes Latin America, Brazil, which focuses on coverage in Portuguese, and portals in Catalan and English. The newspaper's tagline is El Periódico Global, or the Global Newspaper and it truly lives up to this motto. Because of its widespread coverage, El País is excellent for learning about news from specific regions of the Spanish-speaking world. By the way, if you like learning Spanish from content made for native speakers, you'll love Fluent U. Fluent U takes authentic Spanish videos like commercials, music videos, and inspiring talks and turns them into learning experiences. With Fluent U, you'll have access to endless video and audio with interactive subtitles, plus great educational features like flashcards, a built-in video dictionary, and quizzes. Fluent U will help you have more fun and learn faster. You can listen to native speakers pronounce words, phrases, and sentences, and practice repeating them out loud. You won't have to wonder about how a word is used because you can tap on a word to look it up and see examples from other videos. In fact, with its video dictionary, you can look up almost any word that you want to know more about. You can even listen to audio clips of example sentences. Sounds awesome, right? Give FluentU a try on desktop or with FluentU's app for your iOS or Android device. Click on the link in the description for a free trial of FluentU. Now, let's look at a news source that covers a pillar of Spanish-speaking countries, soccer. ESPN is an incredibly thorough news source that covers sports in the Spanish-speaking world. Of course, a lot of their coverage centers around soccer, but that is certainly not all there is to this site. On ESPN, you can filter your results by country and by region. If you're interested in traveling to a particular region, or if you're already a fan of a particular team. Now, as great as soccer is, maybe it just isn't your thing. Enter Vogue España. Me llamo Nicole y tengo 15 años. Vogue is the most prominent publication in fashion in the world, and the Spanish edition of Vogue was started only a few years after its American counterpart. Puede que haya muchas cosas que no sepa. Search results from Vogue España range from short tutorials house tours of famous fashion designers, to runway coverage, and more. The variety of these videos and articles make Vogue España an excellent tool for learning Spanish. If you're a beginner, get into those short videos. If you're advanced, challenge yourself to an in-depth look at fashion from a specific region. By the way, if you want to remember these news sources for later, Click on the link in the description to get a free PDF of the websites in this video. It even includes some websites that I don't discuss here. Last, enter Vice, a news source that is well known for offbeat or controversial topics. But I bet you didn't know that Vice has not one, but two Spanish editions. These editions feature Vice's distinctive style of journalism focusing on marginal characters and themes, and many stories written with a gonzo approach to journalistic immersion. That is, journalism that doesn't claim to be objective. Vice has recently moved into covering major news stories. However, the approach of their journalists is unlike mainstream news media and may be very popular among people who don't find major news providers appealing. And there you have it. 
four great Spanish news sources to help keep you informed and learning Spanish. What other news sources would you add to the list? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Fluent U and hit the notification button so you never miss more great Spanish learning content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.